going to tell you all how movies are made. <laughs> there are three major steps of how movies are made. There's pre-production, -produ um, production, and post-production. And pre-production, it starts with the script. The script is the basis of the entire thing. Everything is basically worked upon the script. Um, this is the foundation for all of it. Uh, with the script, before it's written, you have to have a concept. There's several different types of concepts. There's based on true story. There's based on true events, like say a war. It's based, it may not be a true story, but it's a base around like what actually happened, or event, a large event that happened. Um, fiction completely made up, like a fantasy story. And then high concept is um, basically, like you say a word or phrase, and you know what it is, like Transformers or Batman. That's what that is. Um, once the script is written, oh, hold on. Uh, the script has to be written in certain certain kind of format. It's not like a book where it's just paragraphs. Um, there's actually a specific format where each scene is broken off, um, is labeled on the page, and it, like the heading of the scene is either interior or exterior. Interior, it means indoors, exterior is outdoors. Then you say the location, and then whether it's day or night, and then after that you go down with the action and dialogue and all that. And from that, um, you have to have rewrites, but once the script is all done, then someone else takes it, and you have to break down the script. They get highlighters of different colors, and highlight important um, things that will have to be known for whenever the movie is actually made. They have to go and highlight the cast, the stunts that are done, um, like background people, like people you see just like at a coffee shop or like a large crowd or something. People that aren't having lines, but they're there. Um, props, sound effects, vehicles, animals, how makeup and hair is, like how a person looks, um, special equipment, and there's a box for miscellaneous. And you highlight all this stuff on the script and then you write it, all that stuff down on breakdown sheets, one for each scene, or however many it takes, and you mark the scene number, and from that, you have to transfer all that, it's like a stack full of pages, onto a large board with strips on it, so that you can, it has all the same information, but you can see, like, what scenes are what place, and so you can uh, schedule the thing. You can see, like, if you have several different locations, but they're, like, the same place, but different times within the movie, you go ahead and shoot the, all the scenes from that place at the same time. So like, it's not a chronological order of how the movie goes, but if you're using the same location, you go ahead and shoot it there. Just for, it saves money and all that. And um, from the production board, once you have that, you have a shooting schedule of basically letting everyone know when to show up. And you have to budget everything too. There's a um, the story rights, a script, uh, the producers of the movie, the directors, travel and living, insurances and taxes, and that's all considered above the line. They break it down into two categories. Above the line is the most important. And then from that, they do below the line, which is uh, designing sets and uh, hair and makeup and sound and transportation and special effects people. From that, you got all that ready and set up. Then you actually go into production where everything is made. Basically, that's when all the preparing that you've done comes into play. Um, you got to go to the locations, you have to uh, ask permission for the places you're gonna go, you have to sign waivers and all that, you, you uh, need to respect your locations, you gotta see how much power they have so you don't blow a circuit because there's a lot of lighting that you're gonna have to plug in. Um, it's always a bad thing if you break a circuit and you gotta leave it cleaner, um, then you came there. Like you clean up afterwards and make it nicer than whenever you arrived. You uh, need to follow the chain of command. So like someone who's low down doing lighting on a professional set, they're not supposed to go directly to the director for the entire thing to ask them questions. They need to go to whoever's in charge of them and they'll take it up to whoever's more in charge. Otherwise it's seen as rude, I guess. And so, um, basically, that's when all the jobs are done, like directing, acting, lighting, cinematography, which is the camera work and all that, and sound. Once all, once everything is shot, then they go to post-production, 
which is they work with all their video. They um, they promote everything, the movie that's going to come up. They edit everything. They um, a lot of times they record the music that's going to be played over word because a lot of times they don't have the music ahead of time. A lot of times it's written for the actual movie, so that's when all that is collected and added into it. They uh, replace dialogue. Uh, it's called ADR, automated dialogue replacement. So like if something like say a car drove by or something that was unexpected and you couldn't hear the voices and they go into a studio and they record the dialogue over again. And Foley, which is sound effects, they take mics and um, record sounds like, uh, there's actually libraries that you can pay to use that has all these pre-made sound effects but then a lot of times they make them for the movie specifically. And distri uh, distribution, uh, once everything is completely done, then you need to um, distribute it to festivals or online or companies or uh, just whoever you made the actual thing for, like the production company. And basically that's it. And a lot of times films take more work than a lot of people expect.